hello farmers welcome to my farm greetings to you all this is uh, my catfish farm i have concrete ponds here as you can see them i have uh, five concrete ponds then i have three reservoirs these are the reservoirs as you can see I pump water from the river to these reservoirs then I allow the water to settle and make sure the water is safe before these are the pipes the outlet pipes before I discharge it for I open it to enter the fish ponds yeah there's something I want to show you for those who are interested <coughs> in uh, constructing uh, concrete ponds you have to be very careful of the person you're using the mason man or you'll be using to construct the pond if it is not well constructed it means you have a lot of issues as you can see this one is leaking so we have to break it to you know work on it so you have to be very very sure that the person is good in pond uh, construction else you'll be making double expenses then the walls you have to be very careful these are the joints the angles you have to ensure that they properly plaster it and they use the right blocks you can see that this one is already cracking if you see it very well it's cracking these are some of the issues you will experience if you are using a concrete pond although some will just do uh, casting direct casting without using blocks <clears throat> but that will be very expensive because you need a lot of cement sand and the rest but if you are constructing with blocks if you get a good mason man you you will rest assured so after the production cycle i discovered that almost all the ponds were leaking so i have to you know break you can see the floor the floor is leaking you see the look at the cracks the cracks on the floor you put water here because of the pressure the water is exerting on the pond it will start leaking this is my outlet this is three inches outlet i centralize the outlet this is a uh, uh uh, four meters by four meters pond you can see that the outlet is centralized yeah then uh, you can see the outlet valve yeah one thing again about the uh, let me go out so that you can see it better I connected all of them to a gutter this is a gutter once I open them, there's a nearby river here. I'll flush everything to the river. Then this outlet pipe or valve, you need to find a way to always secure it because at times uh, thieves will just come and open it and uh, drain all the water in the pond and steal all the fish. I've experienced that in one of the fish farms I was managing. They came back in the morning and discovered there was no water again in the pond. They have harvested, they have they ended up harvesting, you know, the biggest fish in the pond, uh, fishes in the pond, which was a very great loss to the owner of the farm. So you have to look for a way to secure this. As you can see, the way I put this one, I'm going to secure it up here so that it will be very difficult for the person to, you know, put his hand there and open the valve if there is water inside the pond it's always difficult to catch the fish or harvest them unless some of them use hooks like the two security men i earlier employed i think last year in this farm they ended up stealing the fish they were using hook to to catch the fish until they were arrested by the community boys because after stealing they were going to sell so as uh, one unfaithful day for them and faithful day to me as they harvested in the night 
they were leaving they were caught by the security men but i already experienced a great loss so you have to be very careful of the people you are employing to work in your farm to manage your farm either security or uh, farm manager farm attendants you have to be very careful of them because if there's fish in the water like this one now this pond you cannot tell if i stock 2000 here and even if they are verse 500 it will be very difficult for me to know until the day i want to sell most especially when the fish are big so uh you have to look at ways that you can secure you know your assets secure the farm so that uh, you will not experience uh, losses mostly on this outlet valve then what i discovered is that most persons are covering you know the top of the pond with either wire mesh or even welding iron rods you know to cover the pond it is only who is attending to that pond that will just come and feed them then any day they are doing harvesting they will open it you know and harvest because you have to devise means of securing your farm because many farm attendants these days are very terrible and even the security men can imagine that the the person i employed to secure the farm you know at the end became a threat to the farm and was stealing you know the fish so it was a very bad experience after investing thousands of naira for feeds you know managing them to grow uh, the fish is too i think they were more than somewhere they were more than 1.5 kg he just selected the big big ones you know you harvest and go and sell it outside so then the the, the you can see how i protected these walls so that it cannot collapse yeah you can see then uh, you see pillar in between you can see a pillar without this the pond you know after putting water inside with the fish the pond you know can collapse yeah like i told you i pump water from the river this is the inlet it's coming from the river i normally take my engine my water pump to the river close to the river bank pump water from there this is the inlet to this pump to this uh, tank yeah you can see it these are my three reservoirs because i need enough water and uh, drilling of boho here is very difficult because the area is rocky so not even rocky they checked there was no enough water to serve me so i have to pump from the from the river so from the river i have enough water within two hours by pump all these uh, reservoirs will be filled so i have uh, each of them is about uh, 15 15 000 liters so i have enough water to use but i allow you to settle and make sure the water is safe before i discharge it to all the ponds yeah so this is my farm i also have a poultry farm you can see there i have layers and broilers but this class is for catfish thank you